morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as the editor of the Franchise India Group, it gives me great delight in welcoming you all, the warmest people, I think, in the whole world, which is the restaurant people, to the Indian Restaurant Congress 2015. And I think, you know, uh, it's always that we uh, get to uh, uh, get your hospitality whenever we go to your restaurants. And since you've come to the Restaurant Congress, a huge applause to all of you for actually being here and making this show bigger and all the more warmer with all of you here in this room. So, um, you know, at Franchise India, we do close to about 120, 125 shows now. But as a team at Franchise India, personally, myself, as well as my whole team, we always look forward to the Indian Restaurant Congress. Many reasons, really. Um, we, you know, it's, it's a time when we get to meet the brands that we really love. We probably consume them on a day-to-day basis. We get to meet the people who are otherwise you only see on page three and on the right places or the page, uh, most social places. And I think more importantly, it's about uh, setting the food that we are always so excited about eating, which, is, which gets a tone or which gets the, probably the next year's look right here at this very forum. So welcome once again to all of you. Uh, you know, I've, uh, having been here, uh, all of you, I would, suggest, I would say one thing that restaurant as an industry in India has been growing and probably been growing the fastest as compared to all the other sectors that I have seen um, within franchising or perhaps even in various industries. I think that there, there's, a, there's a reason or there's a system that has come to happen uh, within franchising and which is probably to do with a fun business becoming more serious. There are a lot of uh, corporates today who are seeing restaurants as a very, very serious industry. They are looking at big investments. We're going to have some of them speaking over here today. Uh, we also have a lot of, uh, the, the lot of aspiration and a lot of lifestyle has got gone in behind the restaurant business which is being seen not just in the consumers consuming the restaurant or food that is there in the restaurants, but in entrepreneurs who are taking up restaurant as a business. And I see that as a great sign for the industry, which is already in the grow growth mode. And of course, you know, needless to say, we have about, we have the world's second largest number of bellies to fill. And if Delhi's pot bellies are famous, then there is a whole lot of bellies you have to fill and a whole lot of money that is going to be made behind it. Uh, but also at the same time, I feel, and that's what numbers tell me, that as far, while being the second largest market and such, so many stomachs to fill, we still stand as probably only the 20th uh, marketplace for food in the world. So there is a huge gap today in terms of uh, where the market is and where we are and where we need to reach. And I think that is really what this show is all about, where the restaurant industry comes together as friends we meet and discuss with each other as to where the food business or how to take our food business to the next level. So uh, for, from that perspective, this show is really about setting benchmarks for probably the next year and for the years to come, where or how we're going to achieve the gap and really make this one of the first or the second marketplace for food in the world. Um, you know, I personally feel that there are really three aspects for any industry to grow. Uh, the first aspect is probably has more to do with opportunity for growth. The second aspect has got more to do with the aspiration of people to come into this industry. And probably the third and the most important part is the ease or execution of business or the ease of doing business in the industry. I think the first two aspects is probably already been taken care of. Today, you know, I mean, at Franchise India, I probably feel that every fifth investor who walks up to us says he wants to start a restaurant business. So the, the whole hype and the whole excitement to start a restaurant business is certainly there. Uh, the industry is very welcoming. There are not so much, as I would say, barriers to entry. The, the lot of people who can come in this industry start a food business. But I think the third most important aspect, which would really be the reason for debate in this uh, forum for the next two days, would be how do we make execution more easy? How do we make, how do we bring more ease to doing the business of restaurants, more process driven, more systematic, which will help us to operate our restaurants better. That would largely be the course of debate over the course of the two days as we move on uh, from here. Uh, you know, I think as you see the theme for this year we have put is disruption. And I think this disruption is really emanating from the consumer. It is the consumer who is no longer loyal, much as I hate to say it. He is 
probably wanting to experiment and probably wanting a more entertainment plus dining in his experience. So he's not happy only with just going out and eating food. You know, um, so, and, and I, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of restauranteurs particularly who have either built their concepts in India or they've brought concepts from outside, putting a la lot of that entertainment as a opportunity or entertainment as a, uh, as a model within their restaurant business, which is really helping the dining experience become wider and better. You know, whether, um, so whether I would say it is probably, there, there's a very, uh, and we'll probably see them, there's a very nice cafe, uh, uh, bar which has opened uh, in Mumbai, it's called the Bar Stock Exchange, and wherein, you know, they change the prices just like they change the prices of the stocks. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's just entertainment. It's, it's fun for the consumer to go in over there and actually enjoy a drink. At the end of the day, it's just about a drink at a bar. But if it is in a more fun experience, the things are different. Um, I have a friend who's probably here today, Sam Chopra, who's just opened Carl's Jr. And they've got some great shakes out there, which, are, which I've not seen in many other places. So I think there is there's a lot happening today. And... I feel the concepts that I have seen on one last one or two years in the restaurant industry are probably not just ready for India, but they're ready for the world. You know, those concepts could open up anywhere and you'll feel it's a global concept. So which I think is a good thing for the industry as a whole to grow. But, you know, when an industry is growing, challenges also abound. And I feel that, you know, as an editor, and because I get to talk to all of you on various levels, I, I have kind of thought that these challenges are largely, I could bucket them into three. Uh, so the first challenge is where I see there are great concepts out there in the market, but they're not very scalable concepts. They're great for one or two locations run by the operator or the owner himself, but if you go out and scale them, it becomes a little difficult. Um, the second key I would say is that even when the concept is scalable, bringing consistency into that scale becomes a big, big challenge. You know, so you'll find restaurants operating differently in different places, even though they are under the same brand. And the third one, even if you achieve the first two, which is scalability and consistency, profitability becomes a huge issue, you know? So at the end of the day, why run a restaurant if you're not gonna make enough money out of it? So, you know, how, how are you gonna beat these three challenges to really, um, and this is not just important from you as a restaurant owner, but probably some of my friends who are sitting here from the funding community who've been telling me that, uh, you know, restaurants have not uh, made them the kind of, uh, the, or probably was not uh, lucrative enough for them to park their investments. Uh, so I think this, these are the three things we need to change in our restaurants. And for all the young restauranteurs in this room, I think probably we need to turn the tables, you know. Probably the profitability has to come first. So if your restaurant concept is profitable, uh, you could probably, you know, with the investments that you can make some serious investments or put some capex in capability building. You can find the right vendors, you can find the right suppliers who would probably help you bring consistency in your concept. And thereafter, probably you can make it scalable within India, within a region uh, outside of India. And so I think there's a need to relook how we look at our business for growth, which is again going to be a serious um, debate that we'll take up here um, in the course of uh, the next one and a half day, two days. Um, you know, we, as I said, we, the, 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 there's going to be a whole lot of restaurant owners who are going to share some great, wonderful ideas with you. So I'm going to probably leave it over here. I would like to thank personally Mr. Sunil Kapoor, who's the conference chairperson for this year. You know, he's probably one restauranteur whom I've seen has done some wow with the restaurant business. And I think hearing him would not just be a delight. And while I know him personally, but hearing him is always a delight for me whenever I have sat at the conference. So thank you very much, Mr. Kapoor, for chairing the conference this year. Mr. Riaz Amlani, who is the president of NRAI and always also one of the greatest millennial restaurants of our times, which he runs under Impresario and Mr. Amit Burman at Light Bite Foods. He's doing some, I mean, you know, while well, Dabur by himself was a company, but taking the challenge and putting a company like Light Bite Foods with such great restaurants inside. So it's wonderful having you here with us to open this conference today. And you know, while I conclude it, as I welcome you all uh, to the Indian Restaurant Congress, I would just like to say one thing, that I'm actually a Punjabi at heart, and I love my Punjabi food. So. It's for not just for restaurant owners, but for the funding communities that let's invest a little more on the Punjabi food as a business. 
You know, I have two girls, and 10 years from now, I would really like them to say that I'm going to enjoy my chana bhatura or samosa or golgappa at some place. So let's put some serious investments. Let's put some right concepts behind Punjabi food. Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.